Earlier this month, a report from South Korea suggested that Samsung intended to equip all Galaxy S25 models with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset. This contradicted earlier leaks, which claimed that only the Galaxy S25 Ultra would feature Qualcomm's chipset globally, while the Galaxy S25 Plus and S25 would have a mix of Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in some regions and the in-house Exynos 2500 SoC in others. A new leak, however, presents a different scenario, but with a caveat. Onyx popular tipster Theonisid shared a screenshot from an app displaying the hardware and software details of a device. The image reveals that the device is from Samsung and is powered by the S5e9955 chipset, the model number for the Exynos 2500, featuring a 10-core CPU, Sclips 950 GPU, expected to be used in Samsung's next-gen chipset, 14 gigs of RAM, Android 15, and a display with a resolution of 3200 x 1440 pixels. Since Samsung typically reserves its flagship Exynos chipsets for flagship smartphones, the tipster suggests that this device is the Galaxy S25, which, according to the screenshot, is powered by the Exynos 2500 SOC. Based on this, it concludes that the Galaxy S25 will not exclusively feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, contradicting an earlier report. The team at Android Authority made an insightful observation regarding the screenshot. In the system name section, the term ERD is mentioned, which they suggest likely stands for Exynos Reference Design. A new leak has surfaced confirming not only the existence of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but also shedding light on its connectivity options and charging speed. The China Quality Certification Center has certified a Samsung device with the model number SMS9380. Given that the Galaxy S24 Ultra's model number is SMS9280, it's highly likely that SMS9380 is the next in line, pointing to the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The certification reveals that the Galaxy S25 Ultra is labeled as a satellite mobile terminal, which likely indicates that the phone will feature satellite connectivity. Similar to iPhones, this would enable users to connect with emergency services even in areas without cellular coverage. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.